Hi, I'm Barry Soloway. I've been involved with the refocus procedure for over 15 years. During that time, I've seen remarkable change. The stability of the implant, the surgery itself has become much more automated, much less surgeon dependent, and much more uniform. This has given us results that now last and given us patients who are much more happy over time with this procedure. I'm here in Dublin today with uh, Dr. Arthur Cummings, one of the refocus surgeons here in Europe. Um, and I'm curious, Arthur, it's been early for you. You've had uh, some patience and some good results so far, but I'm curious, what brought you to refocus? Why did you decide that this was a procedure for your patients? I think there are quite a few things I like about the idea, Barry. If you think about what we're currently doing, it all involves compromise. we either doing a form of monovision, where we reduce the overall distance vision, or we're doing a form of multifocality. And at the end of the day, the problem with presbyopia is in the lens. And what I like about this procedure is we, we're addressing the lens. So John Marshall has a, a comment that he's made that I've heard him say before, I don't know if it's his own, but he says, why punish the cornea for the sins of the lens? And that, that resonates with me. And I think for the first time now, we're addressing the problem where it is without affecting distance vision. It's a binocular procedure. And on top of everything else, it makes it very, very, very safe. We're outside the visual axis. We're not intraocular. And when people speak about procedures being reversible, they're not always reversible. This one is entirely reversible. If you don't like it for whatever reason and you remove the segments, you're back where you started. I think that's uh, probably a pretty good summary of uh, even why I got interested in the surgery. Uh, patients seeing well in the distance uh, and seeing well at near um, really sums it up well.